Here are some of the easy TV show formats that I like to call easy. This one I like to call um, entertainment. I just did a quick little um, Shakespeare type thing trying to do some little you know entertaining different scenes just to make show what the possibilities were but you could have an entertainment show which was basically could be for artists, performing artists, um, writers, actors, um, speakers, artistic groups who want to show off your creative side. You know, you want to intrigue possible buyers or clients. You want to showcase a portfolio of your work or you want to use it as a one sheet for, for you as a speaker. Um, the pros, of course, is entertaining, engaging. It showcases your personality. It showcases your work. So it's um, very possible to be something that people talk about. The cons, of course, is a lot of work to produce, even if it's just reading a book out loud. If it isn't working, it can be bad publicity. Um, it's difficult to produce a TV show every week or every month that's entertaining in terms of um, using a lot of scenes or backgrounds or um, having to um, write up the script each month and practice beforehand if you're trying to do something creative. But then, of course, there's other TV show formats as well. Um, you could have an instructional type of uh, TV show every week or every month. Probably every week would be more useful because people would come back on a frequent basis. You could be a fitness show, it could be a cooking show, it could be an instructional show. It could be something that people find engaging. They might even find you entertaining, but you also are also going to be instructional and add value to what they're going to have a look at in terms of your TV show. So it doesn't have to be complicated to do a TV show. Um, you can use your camera, your digital camera. The quality of video these days is such that it doesn't require much except for decent lighting, decent sound, and of course um, a good digital camera or a good digital webcam to do the TV show. So you can um, obviously do a TV show format for instructional. It would be good for trainers, educators, instructors, uh, chefs, even artists, um, demonstrators. Um, people who want to um, share their hobbies. These are especially entertaining and will get people to come back every week. Um, this is always a good thing, is them coming back on a regular basis. Um, the pros are that the viewers will tune in to learn and be educated. And you can always mention that what the next video is and that it's in a series so they come back again. It could be step by step on one topic in one show or it could be a series so it's easy to create a schedule of shows weekly because you know what's going to happen next week. You're not always having to think up an idea for each week. Um, so it's going to be something that would be easy to format and then um, be able to prepare for it. So the cons are only the pre-planning the time for how to, pre-planning the lessons, making it engaging, entertaining. As long as you're forgiving of less than perfect um, how-to and editing, uh, don't worry too much about editing for mistakes and you're willing to flub your lines, um, it would be an easy TV show to do, an instructional TV show, and certainly would have value that people would want to return and watch. And then, of course, there's always a TV show that is um, something like a... Um, interviews show. In this one you could have a co-hosting interview show so it makes it easier when there's the two of you in terms of um, being able to um, provide a value for a, a show that you know each week or each month what you're going to be talking about and you can pre-prepare your show and of course if you have a co-host then you can share the work. So that's the the pros of having a co-host for a show and then of course it could be on any topic that you wish that you think people would find of value. So the conversations with your co-host can be entertaining. It can help with the broadcast to keep conversation interesting. Um, you'll be collaborating with your co-host and your, your 
having conversations. So they'll be assisting and promoting the show as well as per, uh, helping in um, creating the scripts or preparing the show as to what needs to be done each week. So it's it's a good uh, co-host conversational type um, show where either you co-host and do an interview or you co-host and just have a topic that you talk about. Those would be of use to both of you, of course. And a conversational uh, TV show, of course, are very popular on standard TV. So they can certainly be popular on um, streaming TV. So that's one of the ways you can do it. Um, the, the cons for this is you have to be willing to collaborate and understand the goals of the show. Um, when you're co-hosting with someone, you have to be on the same page about why you're doing the show. And of course, you have to coordinate the time for the two people to actually do the show physically so that um, they can do it at a certain time each week or do it, uh, record it, and then show it at a certain time each week. So you have to be aware of your time and the other person's time as to whether or not you can do uh, co-hosting. So it, it's, a, it's a thought um, for a TV show. It's certainly very popular. There's a lot of shows that have five co-hosts um, who have conversations with each other. If we look at The View, for example... And um, then, of course, you could just do um, an interview show where it would be anyone with any topic, depending on the interviewee, um, who would come on and uh, be interviewed by you as the TV host. Or you could hire someone to be the TV host and you just produce the show. It just depends on how important the topic is to you, um, whether or not you want to do that topic. Um, so it's certainly a good way for a speaker or coach or a consultant or a business to showcase what their business is all about by being on a TV show and interviewing people on the topics that is relevant to their business. It can be um, entertaining. It can be of interest and value. Um, it can create... Um, intrigue for people who come on the show as to what you are all about because you're having a value of having a tv show that they can come on and be highlighted and uh, you can do it on location or you can do it off location obviously um it, these days it's very easy with the um well that was a ipad is has enough quality you can make a tv show out of that in terms of interviewing someone and um, it's it's got a lot of pros to it, the interview show. That's why it's so popular. It's always something that uh, people of, who like the topic will find of interest. Um, so anyone, anyone could be um, topic. The pros, of course, is that people tune in for the topic or they tune in to see the guests on your panel or the guests that you're interviewing. And of course, your guests will hopefully promote the event, the interview, so that you reach a larger audience. So it's a lot of pros to have doing an interview show, and that's why a lot of people do it podcasting. So it's certainly just as easy to follow through and do a TV show format of interview um, show. Of course, there, there's plenty of cons as well. Um, you know, they're there's always going to have to be clashes or there's going to be uh, people who miss appointments. Um, you have to coordinate very well to make sure that if you're going to do a show that's streaming at a certain time live, then your guests better be there on time or else you'll be talking to empty air. So planning and organizing and inviting your guests done, it has to be done ahead of time. And the guests need to attend on your schedule or they want to, again, hopefully they won't attend on their schedule. Um, never assume the guest will promote the interview, but you can make it easy by sending them promotional material. And of course, it's being a weekly show. You need to be organized, inviting, scheduling your show and your guest. But of course, you don't have to do it weekly. You could do it bi-weekly. You could do it monthly as a show and do other types of shows. If you feel you want to do um, a show weekly, you could have a different format for a different day. But um, I think for most people, organizing a monthly interview show 
would be a value for them. Um, you could also do a panel show where you have four or five experts who come on and you interview them and they discuss certain topics that would certainly be of value for your audience to have experts come on and uh, talk about a topic like climate change or or something like that so or productivity um, these are summits that are very popular now on standard TV so why not do it also on um, streaming TV so there are a few tip of the easy TV show uh, formats that you can do and I hope it'll give you something to think about in terms of what kind of show you could do and how easy or how what the some of the issues are for certain